Hi. So my name is Christian Montez. I'm the executive director of sales for Novell Biz. Um, I want to start off with saying that I get two questions more often than any. One is, um, what's with the dragon logo? <laughs> and the other one is, well, what do you do? So I'll start with the fun one, because this one actually has a story. And if you've heard it, don't ruin it for everybody else, but it's actually an interesting story. So uh, our founder, when he was building his business, really wanted to have a company that had something that could represent what he wanted to see in a company. So in that, a lot of things and thought went in a way, and some of them was, I want a business that lasts. I want a business that grows, that multiplies. It's a fierce competitor. It's caring for their own. Um, a company that really is a symbol out there for how do you show strength. So in that, the dragon was created. So the dragon is actually named Nobella. It's a female. And she's actually a pregnant dragon. And so the reason for this is, is that the dragon is absolutely something that lasts and lives for a very long time. Uh, it's a very fierce <coughs> creature. Uh, being pregnant obviously shows that there's going to be growth, there's going to be a future, there's going to be a multiplication of your business. And then obviously there's nothing more protective of their own than a mother. And being able to see that in that, um, you're able to not only care for your own business, but for your own people. And so that was really important to the business. So Nobella is our dragon. It is the symbol of our business, and it's also a driver of our culture around what we do. So let's kind of get to what we do then. So Nobel Biz, um, in the mission of something long-lasting, it's hard to read from here, but we've been in business for 21 years. We have uh, a, sim uh, 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 a simple outline here of some major pieces that come out of growth and out of our system. So basically, we've gotten to a point where we're a $300 million company um, annually. Uh, we have over 700 carrier relationships within the global, a global footprint. We have over 350 employees. Uh, we do over 5 billion minutes annually. Uh, we have over 1,500 customers worldwide. Uh, we do over a billion interactions annually, and we have constantly 20% annual growth. That is only because of the mission of the business is to address something very specific and in two very specific areas. So one is we focus exclusively in the contact center space, and we only have three types of customers. You're either an end enterprise, where you actually have an in-house center, where you're making and taking high volumes of calls. Number two, you're an outsourcer. You're a BPO of some sort, you're making and taking high volumes of calls on behalf of somebody else. Or lastly, you're a technology provider, like a CCAS, like some of the major brands out there, and you are utilizing some of our services to resell them out into the market. But 100% of our customers fit into that box, and that's all we do all day, every day. So the two types of solutions that we offer in that space is in the global footprint in the US, which is the pink, uh, which is where I'm based out of. I'm based out of San Diego, California, which is where one of our corporate offices. We focus on the telephony side of business, so we provide telecom services and software that overlays on telecom to any company that today manages their own carriers for their business. So if you're a contact center and you have legacy or premise equipment, or you're able to bring and manage your own carrier relationships with any major carriers you can think of, we can deliver solutions that enhance your ability to stay up, to have good call quality, to make sure that you have resiliency and your ability to connect with your customers, but then also productivity and compliance services that overlay there, that can act as a safety net to what you're already doing today, or to increase the ability for you to actually communicate. The secondary part, which is part of our footprint here uh, globally, is the carrier side on the wholesale side of our business. So we buy and sell telecom minutes worldwide. There are a lot of major carriers that you can see. So we have um, Hong Kong, we got Bucharest, we got Liberia, we got Toronto, we got various spots around the world which are hubs for our business on the international side. Now, independent of that, we started getting into the space of software. So we started acquiring companies this year. We acquired a company in the CCAS space or the contact service center as a service. 
So we're starting to leverage our global footprint as a carrier and a software provider in that space to start being able to build software options for our customers because a lot of our customers as they move to the cloud or as they move to other areas, they'll end up utilizing some of these capabilities and these services. And so with that global footprint, um, we offer the Cloud Contact Center. The two middle pieces, we call it Shield and Smart. Just think of them like this. Shield is an outbound productivity and compliance product that's delivered via the carrier network. So if you have your own carrier services, that product can plug right into whatever you're doing today. You don't have to have any integrations, any crazy fancy software ads. Smart, really that's designed for inbound routing. For any of you who have multiple centers, you want to be able to route using a cloud solution without having to unify all of your legacy equipment. That works for you as well. And then obviously for anyone who just wants a really reliable, highly responsive, highly proactive set of people that are designed to act as an extension of your business for telecom services, that's the other part of our business. So uh, I appreciate you all having us here. Obviously, we love to be a sponsor of such a great group. PACE is a great organization. And obviously, when it comes to interacting with all of you, I learn from everybody. And hopefully, we can learn from one another. So I look forward to connecting with each and one of you. So thanks for your time. Thank you.